does this sound all right? I have taken down the volume and I've taken up the mic volume, so it should be good. Not you. Not you. Yeah. <laughs> First floor. Oh, cats. We're playing detectives. Wee. radiators are some of the few remnants of the old days. Most have been taken off the walls. Those that are left have been working for years. Cool. Sofa. The cats seem attracted to it, but why? It's just an old sofa. The Morrisons left it here when they moved out. There are some stitches on it, and they look fresh. Has it been mended recently? Hmm. Interesting. From flat one, we apologize for cluttering the hall. The removal company has been called, and they will collect the sofa and the chair soon. We're sorry for the inconvenience, we're sure you can put up with these few items for a bit longer, just like we'd put up with your dog for all these years. <laughs> Morrison's amazing. So, the Morrison's family used to live here. They moved out a little while ago. Sure. That's because no one lives there. Only silence. It's locked. Well, Mitzi. Would you like to try your famous lock picking skills on this lock here? Let's see. Do your magic. A young child could open this lock with a piece of wire. That's fantastic. Have you done it yet? No. I can't work when you're looking over my shoulder. <laughs> Do you mind? Really? No, sure. I'll just walk away for a minute and stare at the wall if that's what it takes to get this done. Thanks. Sure, no problem. Really? Oh. Spanner. Take it, sure. I can use this. Oh, I... Mitzi? Is she in here? Where is she? Oh, there. There's a hole. This hole must have been made quite recently. It's Joe Davis' flat up there. What is he thinking, digging holes in the floor? Right in the edge, there's some black, shiny object. Well, it looks like a cat. I think it's a cat. I can't quite tell what it is from here. It's a cat. But it looks like some kind of statue of a cat. <laughs> Reach it? Of course, it's too high. 
Yeah. Rotten table. Fall and break your legs. You have to find another way. Table. It's run through. Window. This is the sunny side of the building. My side is always covered in dark. Or so it seems. Hmm. Clearly this place is empty. I reckon we can cross it off the list. Good. Mrs. A. What does depression feel like? You should know. Maybe. Well, it feels like all I want is to die, but I have to live. That's funny. Most of the time I feel like I want to live, but I have to die. Fuck. The shit's deep. Or you can just suck it. Get it? It's just an ordinary electric socket. Cool. Let's go. Window. I'm tired. Second floor is our own. No one was there, so. Badam, bam, badam. The bicycle. Bicycle. It says, since Brian doesn't own a car, every day he rides this bicycle to get to work it's not just his pride and joy but also his only means of transportation i bet he'd be got gutted gutted if something happened to it <laughs> kick it as much as i'd want to the noise would only alarm him i'm sure i can think of a better way to get back at brian well i I have a spanner. Can't use it here, you sure? Crank. Crank. How funny would it how funny would that be if the crank went missing? <laughs> I I think I see where you're going with this. He probably wouldn't even notice until the very last minute when he when he's all ready to leave for work, with no time to spare. <laughs> sure, let's let's do it. Let's do it. Let's fucking do it. Come on. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh, that's funny. That'll teach you not to mess with the cat lady. You little bitch. Uh, I don't even want to ring his. A rag. Let's borrow the rag. <sighs> I should game earlier. I'm too tired right now. But I haven't gamed all day. So I... I had to get at least one video done today. Listen. 
Anything? I think I heard someone cough. He's home alright. Wait, he... He who? An old man. An old man. I doubt he's... I doubt he's the guy. Would you like to talk to him? Sure. I'll pretend I'm doing one of those customer surveys. Old people usually have time to answer lots of stupid questions. True. They just want some attention, Mitzi. <laughs> just give him time. He's an old man. It might take a while. Oh. Hello there, sir. If you could spare us just a few minutes of your time, we'd like to ask some questions about your internet service provider. I'm not interested. I don't have any money. Go bother someone else. Oh. But we're not trying to sell anything. It's just a little survey. Yeah. What? Wait a second. I, I can't hear what you're saying, sweetie. Uh, let me get my hearing aid. <laughs> you think he'll be back with a shotgun? <laughs> Don't be silly. This isn't America. What? Where are we? I thought I heard someone. England? What maybe? did you want? I thought it was America, but... Wait, where are we? I guess it's England. Canada, maybe? Canada? Yeah, it could be Canada. Sure. Do you live alone? You live alone? When you're an old man like me, you end up watching all your friends and family die. I'll be 85 this year, but I can still cook my dinner and I make my bed every morning all by myself. Cool. I never got the... So, you do live alone then? Look, young lady, I don't need any help. I've told them already. I can manage just fine. I can still cook my dinner, and I make my bed every morning all by myself. And not that it's any of your business, but when I die, I'll die in my own home, in my own bed. I'm honestly not trying to take that away from you. We're just here to ask about... I will not have anyone washing me, or, or dressing me, or feeding me. I hear you. I can manage. I've done it all my life. And it'll stay this way. Good for you. I can still cook my bed, and, <laughs> and I make my dinner every morning, <laughs> all by myself. That's funny. That's pretty funny. That's pretty. Oh my god, that's stupid, but funny. Uh, but as I tried to said, I never got the point of making your bed. Why? You're just gonna sleep in it anyways. Who gives a fuck if your um, blanket thing, what's it called? I There's a pillow, and then there's... I can never remember that name. Let's just call it a blanket. Why would you, like, straighten it out and shit? Like, who gives a fuck? Um... I didn't mean to pry. Sure. I didn't mean to pry. Please accept my apology. No, no, no. It's, it's me who should be sorry. I haven't even offered you ladies a cup of tea. Oh yeah, please. That's fine. Don't worry about it. Mary always liked her tea milky. Oh no. She put the tea bag in the milk in first, and and then finally, she'd add hot water. And I kept telling her it's the wrong way, but she never listened. <laughs> she was always so stubborn, my Mary. Yeah. I miss her every day. Damn. I'm sorry for your loss. That's pretty sad. Do 
Do you own a computer, sir? Do you own computer connected to the internet? Say again? Right. Okay. Do you... I can't hear you very well, dear. You'll have to speak up. I'm an old man, you know. I'll be 85 this year. I know. Do you... Yeah. Do you have a computer? There's no need to shout. I've got my hearing aids. I can hear what you're saying. Aids. Sorry. A young, pretty lady like yourself wouldn't understand about old age. We live in two different worlds, dear. Nah. And if you're here to make fun of me, why won't you just go ahead and be done with it? No, oh, no. On. With all respect, I... I just wanted to ask if you by any chance own a computer. Pardon? A computer! Wait a second, dear. I think I need to change the batteries in my hearing aid. I must have forgotten to switch them off last night. Eats. <laughs> I'll be right back. No, wait. Eats. Jesus. <laughs> I don't think I've got enough patience for this, Mrs. A. To be honest, the chances that he's our guy are pretty slim. I think we should go. Yeah, this is pointless. Even if he did have a computer, he probably wouldn't even remember how to switch it on. Let's say goodbye quickly and try to look elsewhere. Can I help you? Not really. We were just going. What? I don't want to buy anything. I told you before, I'm not interested. I don't have any money. Go bother someone else. I am um, sorry. Goodbye. Sorry to have bothered you, sir. We'll go now. I'll see you later, ladies. Nope. Next time I'll do the talking, yeah? He's tough. Wouldn't answer a single question. But he can't possibly be an internet whiz. Yep, he's just a lonely old man. Let's cross him off the list. You know, the sad thing is, Mitzi's probably gonna die before him.